Hi, I'm on holiday in Christchurch and I'm in a hot tub. I got to here yesterday but I didn't film because it was really hot. The sun's in my eyes and I don't have any sunglasses so I have to move here. Sun's fire alarm to keep them going off. I don't know why. We are actually in England and it's actually sunny. Next week I'm going to Sardinia in Italy so it's fine. I can't even see. It's too sunny. I have to have the shirt on so I don't get sunburnt because I can't put sunblock on because it'll damage this hot tub. It's a bit silly to be in a hot tub when it's really sunny because it's 33 degrees. This has the lights in it. You probably can't see this in the day. I can. It's a multicoloured light and it lights up because it's the light. So the jets, I'm not gonna turn this up too far, too hard because it just sprays all over the place and actually sprays outside the hot tub and goes everywhere and goes over these fences and splashes people and they get angry. So this is the uh, AUX mode. I don't know what that means. But basically it just goes out slowly. Yeah. If I turn, should I turn the jets off? It's not turning off. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Did they fill this up all so it doesn't spray out? Mm. They did? Yeah. That's good. Okay, so it's not going to spray out. Well, I woke up at half past 11 this morning because I went to bed at 4 o'clock at night and it was really hot. Even though with the air conditioner on, it was really hot at night and I couldn't sleep. This is all bubbly. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> last night, I didn't film it, but I actually had a Domino's. I had a Domino's last night. Here's Max. Oh, what's going in my head? So, what time is it now? I think it's two o'clock or something. All I've had to eat is pancakes and Pepsi Max. Last night I had three Pepsi Maxes and that's maybe why I was awake. There's actually a swimming pool down there. This place has a swimming pool. Also, we're going to the beach. Did I already say that? We're going to the beach today. Oh, also, we're going to stay here for a week. I didn't say that. Or did I? I did think of maybe spending the whole night here, but I'm not allowed to. I think I'm not allowed to because of the noise. Ow, my knee. This is really hot, so I should probably get out. Anyway, I think that's it. Probably go to the beach, or maybe the swimming pool down there. I have my bicycle, so I can ride down there. Anyway, it's really sunny, it's my face. This thing's broken again. Ooh. I'm cycling to the swimming place. It's over there, the swimming pool. <laughs> Other cyclists. There's nowhere to lock the bicycles. I don't know where to put the chain on. The swimming pool's over there. Okay. There's an indoor swimming pool as well. That's good. It's surprisingly hot, even though we're in England. Look at the grass. It's gone all brown. It's just so dehydrated and hot. It's crazy. It's just this heat wave constantly. Okay, I've got my chips here. It's a family sized portion of fries and I've got a Coke Zero. Oh, wait, a Diet Coke. Um, so small, look, it's tiny. Uh, it's actually big, it's really big. It's probably a kilogram, it's heavy. Chot. <laughs> it's so weird being on holiday in England. Even the ketchup is massive. Look. This glass is big. It's a family sized portion of chips. No wonder. Mm. I wonder if I'll be able to finish all of this. This is ridiculous. It's so embarrassing. People <laughs> think I'm like really greedy. It's huge. It's bigger than your head. My head's big and this is bigger than my head. Yeah. It's huge. Put your hand next to it. My hands are big though. This
I always is a kilogram of chips. This is as much as I can eat and I'm going into Fuko. This is over 1,700 calories going into Fuko. I've just had probably 1,500 calories right now and I'm stuffed. I think I have a bit more room. Mm. Oh, oh, almost fell off. There's mini golf over there. Oh, I could do that. Oh, I'm at an obstacle course. Um, it's probably not the best idea to wear flip flops. Have flip flops, so probably not the best idea. Oh no. Let's see how quickly I can do it. Completed it. Let's see what's over there. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. What's going there? <laughs> over there. Alright, so I'm just updating you. I have my pizza here. I've been to the beach. I didn't really feel much at the beach because I'm tired. Now I have energy for some reason, so I'm filming again. But I've got my pizza here. If you're wondering what this is, it's my iMac. I've taken my iMac on holiday. That's just stupid. Let's just edit these videos. This static caravan. If you didn't know, this is a static caravan. It gets so hot in here. I put my air conditioner on here. Last night, I couldn't even- I already told you, but I couldn't even sleep. It was so hot. Well, actually, I might be going go-casting tomorrow. Yay. There's a go-casting place five miles away. This go-casting place is right by the runway of some airport. I looked on Google Maps. Look. Look at this. So here's Bournemouth Airport. This is a runway. The go-casting place, if you'll focus, is right there. So literally, the planes- I don't know which way it will take off. Maybe that way. Go-casting place. It looks quite small compared to the runway. Does that mean it's small? Anyway, it looks like a medium average kind of size runway. I mean, what? A medium sized go casting track. So I think maybe they'll probably let my age in. I'm 13, if you didn't know. It'll probably be cheap. Actually, let me tell you a story. If you go to Spain or France, probably if you go to another country, the go casting places there, they just let you go on. And you don't even need to book. The health and safety there is. <laughs> In England, you have to watch all these safety briefing videos and you have to book it and wear helmets, obviously, and it's a lot stricter. So, I don't know if I can just turn up, but I think I need to book it. Well, my parents would need to book it. But hopefully you can book a day before in advance. That's not even in advance, that's literally kind of last minute. Maybe we could book it today and then I could go tomorrow. It closes at 10 o'clock, what's up? It's 8 minutes to 9. And it closes at 10 o'clock, so I could go now, but it's getting dark, and it's probably not the best thing to go whilst it's getting dark, because I could crash it. I'll have to pay a fine of a few thousand pounds. Um, oh, my pizza's here. I forgot about that. It's getting cold. Oh, the air conditioner's cold. <laughs> anyway, also, if this pizza looks really well made, it's because the oven is like a pizza oven. It has, like, a flame at the back. Have you ever seen an oven with literally flames in it? It's a gas oven, so it's like a pizza oven. Let's try it. That's so good. I've got my water. Well, orange juice, but... I think I should do, like, episodes. So, this would be episode one, the first day. Tomorrow would be episode two, so I think every day I should do a thing and then post it. I think that's about it. I might go to bed soon. Actually, I'll probably won't. I'll probably go to bed at midnight. But there's nothing else really going on. Also, if you don't know, this is my room. My bed's there. That one. Uh, yeah. 
I just thought I should let you know this is my room. So no way, I've just been lying here. My bed just started shaking, you won't believe this. Check this out. The washing machine is shaking this whole caravan. Oh my God. This caravan is shaking <laughs> from the washing machine. I've never experienced that before. I thought that was an earthquake to be honest. My bed was like, Ugh. Seriously, what is this place made of? Jelly? So right now it's 6 minutes to 12. I think I'm going to get some sleep now. It's just it's way too hot in here. That air condition is just so loud. There's no way I'll be falling asleep with that thing on. Anyway, everyone else is asleep, so I have to be really quiet. I don't want to wake anyone up. It's just me. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't already. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.